Hi, I'm Ramona Worst, and from my Real Texas kitchen, I will be preparing a Real Texas shrimp boil. And then, of course, we have the Real Texas shrimp cocktail sauce that uh, you can also find the recipe on this blog. Now, we have golf shrimp. Now, this is called colossal shrimp or extra jumbo shrimp. When we were down at Port Aransas, we actually met the boat, Pollyanna, and we bought shrimp, fresh shrimp, right off of the boat. And boy, was it a bargain compared to what you pay for it in the store. But anyway, what I have done is I've actually peeled the shrimp and then taken a knife and taken out the little vein. So it's called deveining it. Now what I'm doing is I'm preparing my water to boil in it. Now the reason these are called real Texas shrimp boil is because I'm adding four or actually two jalapenos that I've halved and taken the seeds out. I'm adding some Szechuan peppercorn. Now you can actually use regular whole black peppercorns, uh, but this adds just a little bit different flavor to it. And then I'm adding some Zatarain's blackened seasoning, kosher salt, and then I've taken a half of a fresh lemon and quartered it. You just squeeze just a little bit and then you go ahead and put the lemon in. Now I'm going to bring this to a full boil and then we'll add the shrimp. We brought the water broth to a full boil. Now we're going to add our shrimp. And you'll notice that I don't set a timer when I'm doing my shrimp because we're going to bring this back up to a boil. And when the shrimp, you can see the shrimp right now, is down on the bottom of the pot. When the shrimp rises to the top, the shrimp is done. You'll want to go ahead and take the shrimp out, run it under cool water, and immediately put it in the refrigerator so it stops cooking. So, I'm going to go ahead and let this come back to a boil, and then I'll show you what it looks like when it's ready. Now, as you can see, your little shrimp tails have come to the top, and actually your shrimp has come up. What you do is you go ahead and use a strainer spoon, and you want to go ahead and scoop out your shrimp. And then we're going to run them under cool water and then put them in the refrigerator right away. You'll want to go ahead and chill your shrimp for about at least 15 minutes um, so that they get nice and cool for your shrimp cocktail. So, I'm going to go ahead and rinse these and put them in the refrigerator and then I'll show you what they look like when we put the dish together. I've taken my shrimp out of the refrigerator, and now I'm not using a fancy shrimp bowl. All I'm using is a margarita glass. I filled it with crushed ice, and then I used a little ramkin uh, or a little sauce uh, cup, and I put my cocktail sauce in. Now all you do is you just place your shrimp, and it goes so nicely on the edge of the glass. I'm Ramona Worst, and from my Real Texas kitchen, this is my Real Texas shrimp from the Gulf with my Real Texas shrimp cocktail sauce.